Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Haha. <laughs> um, today I'm going to do how to do CGI Lego. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this, so um, I'm gonna, going to do it. Uh, first thing, open up Blender, delete the box. Um, you also need to have LeoCAD is the best sort of program, I think. Um, and then you just plonk in bricks whatsoever and do file export 3d studio sorry if my voice is a bit croaky I've actually been like uber feeling like poo yeah um then open up your uh, model eventually it will open up wait for my flipping uh, hard drive to wake up oh not responding that's a great start yeah. Here we go. Right. Uh, I'll just open up my Arc 170. Import. Here we go. So uh, here's the Arc 170. Nice, and then it's all, all there. You know what's glory now? Uh, something that I think helps uh, is making it one solid object. Unless you want to be really clever, but this is sort of a simple thing. So. Go ahead, right click on one of the pieces, press B, and then click around the area, and then hit Control J, and join selected meshes. Now it's one mesh. Um, hang on a minute. So, um, we've got this thing, if you preview it. Uh, there we go, it's there. Now we want to do some more interesting stuff with it. So, uh, Let's um let's animate. Um, what you want to do is go down to here, split area, turn this thing into timeline. Now, if you want it to just fly in a straight line, that is pretty pretty easy. But I'm gonna add a twist in it as well, so it like spins around. So uh, you hit I, lock rot scale, so that'll make a key from the location, the rotation, and the scale. If you are intending to change the size but don't really want to affect it, just do uh lock rot but do lock rot scale for now it's a lot simpler go to the end of the timeline move it over to your desired place and if you want to make it rotate go on this one rotate it a full 360 degrees then do the eye lock rot scale thing and you can see that hopefully it does actually rotate uh, don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it actually does rotate. There, right. Now that's all well and good, but there's not really much else going on. So we've got this camera here that's just static. Uh, we've got a light that's not really doing much. So um, let's uh, go ahead and make some camera movements first. Uh, recommendation: I would recommend setting it to one two eighty by 720. Uh, if your computer's a bit slowish, do I think it's 540 by 380, but I'm not sure. That just gives it a nice sort of wide screen. Um, okay, so here we have the camera. Now, uh, if you want the camera to move, it's the same basic principle. Uh, just hang on a minute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the camera here, so we're going to start it with this one. And we want the camera to uh, follow the uh, vehicle. So we'll move the camera back here. Yep. So uh, that's all going good. Now it follows the camera, it follows it. But I want to add something else. Now, this is something that not many people will know. But um, you can actually add zoom effects. So, say uh, you want it to, to zoom really quickly onto that thing. What you do, go onto camera, highlight your mouse over here, the bottom where my, my uh, cursor is. Insert key on lens. Move the f f uh, thing a tiny bit. And zoom in using this lens thing. Look, and it zooms right in. Okay, and then eye lens. 
So look. Like that, see? I think that works pretty well. Um, so we got this. It's looking okay. Uh, so that looks pretty good. There's not much lighting on it, so I reckon we should add another lamp. Shift D. Uh, there we go. Move that back here. Now if we go to textured, you can actually see the lighting effects properly. So that, that see. Now actually, I'm going to move the uh, lamp, this one, in front of it just to keep the lighting more consistent. So we've got that. Now, problem is the background doesn't look brilliant. So uh, let's go ahead and work on that. Go to the color and go to world buttons. And make your background black. It's just easier. For stars, you click on stars, but you don't get the best uh, effect, I reckon. See, there's maybe two. So what you want to do is shrink the stars uh, and to 0 0.060 and make the star disk about 5, I'd say. I'll preview that. Where's my preview gone? You get slightly better. Still not brilliant. So I'm actually going to make the size not 0 0.020. And then preview that. There we go. Now, um, some people actually find uh, that with the stars, they seem to look kind of out of place. Um, oh my word. That's quite extreme. <laughs> so, uh, yes, to uh, get past that, it's the star min disk, I think. You move that right up, and uh, when you uh, animate it, it should. I mean, it doesn't, you can't actually tell right now very easily. But uh, I just make, I make the disk really sort of quite big. I mean, if you make it too big, you can't actually see them. If you make it too small, you're still going to get some weird star movements. So uh, you want to make it so it's sort of in between. So I I'm, I'm usually make it around 50. Bearing in mind we've added a zoom, it's going to sort of screw things up slightly. So that looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about this. This may be slightly, yeah, this made the stars ever so slightly invisible. So, uh, Reduce it slightly. I mean, there's always that slight issue. Um, I'll make the stars 0 0.040. And it's really just trial and error. And uh, one other thing that's quite good is to add a planet. Now, I won't do that today, but that basically. Well, actually, no, I will. Okay, I will. You, what you do, add mesh. Uh, oh, that's my dog, sorry. Um, UV sphere. Leave it like that. Press S, make it big. So most people already know really what they're doing. Adding multis, apply, set smooth. But one thing people don't realize is um, this is something called specularity. It doesn't look good if you've got a weir weird like reflection on it. It doesn't look quite realistic. It looks like a plastic ball. So what you want to do is add new shaders, turn the spec down to nothing and uh, if I remember rightly hang on a minute uh, I'll tell you what if I yeah this is but yeah basically if you just I'll just move this here um, I hope this is gonna work if you look here hopefully uh, yeah see no uh, sort of reflection and then you just add the sun thing and it makes it look really good so yeah that's been quite a long tutorial uh, I'll be on again soon with another tutorial hopefully bye